hello, hello. Mel here with 10 Layers Deep and planting, you'll never guess it, kiwi. Now, of course, I'm planting kiwi and I don't actually have the kiwi fruit, but I have the next best thing. It's seed. <laughs> now, you gotta love my labeling. It says kiwi, green, and then from 2001. So this is simply seed that I had taken a kiwi slice and then where there is seed, I took it and I smeared it and you can clearly see where, um, where there's seeds. Anywho. So from there, I let this dry. Actually, I put it on top of my fridge and kind of forgot about it to be honest with you. And it completely dried, which is perfect. And now I am going to sprout them. So I hope that was clear explanation as to how I got the seed. It was just a store-bought kiwi that I was eating and I, one of the slices I took like where the seed was and that's what I had did this. So simply you will need a container, your seed, pull up the old lucky, a little soil bucket here. So first off, I will fill my container here. All right, perfect. So, the next step to this is, if you had nails, which I don't, you would just scrape some of the seeds off, but what I'm gonna do is just take the back side of my pen here, and I see there's kind of a, a little gathering of seeds here, so I'm just gonna Lately, actually, if you just rub them off with your finger, they just come right off. They are completely dry. So, just scatter some of these seeds. I guess I can just kind of pick them up. I'm just doing it over to stop the soil in case some come loose. Um, but yeah, no, they're, they're coming off really nicely. You don't need the pen. Oh. So you may be asking, why are you growing a kiwi in zone three? <laughs> um, well, it's, it clearly will be an indoor plant. Um, whether you bring it outside for the summer or not, it will, it's a, it would be considered a ten, tender annual here. Uh, I'm hoping that if I start this seed early enough. I'm going to keep some for, a couple for indoor plants because they're just gorgeous vines. But I do want to see if I start them early enough here and then transplant them outside to see if I can't get some fruit in our summer. So that means we're going to have to hopefully get these pretty established before I put them out and then put them in a really nice sunny location and kind of give them a little extra loving. Okay, so there's a heap of seeds. I didn't need to get so many, <laughs> but I'm gonna really pepper them on here because why not? You can ensure you're gonna get a good crop if you plant a lot of seeds. And who's to say that maybe you can share some with your friends or family? Who doesn't like a kiwi? I love kiwis. I'm hoping to get some fruit, whether they are from the indoor plants that I'm starting, whether they're the indoor or the outdoor. All right, so that seems like it's a pretty good, pretty good amount. I don't know if you can notice, I might put just a few more in that corner. So we've been planting at the storm here and nothing sprouted yet. <laughs> it's kind of a waiting game, but it's only been just within within a week or so so and i'm not hoping for everything to sprout quickly because we have a lot of we have there's still a lot of smoke there okay so that is more than enough perfect so then what i'm going to do take my trusty old vermiculite here let's give a quick 
quick little, quick little, shoo, 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 little thin, thin layer. All right, that'll do. Oh, there's a big old something around over there. Chicken skitter. All right. And again, this is a recycled container. I'm not too sure exactly what, what came in this, but it works really great for starting seeds. All right, so now let's put a label on it. Um, green. Kiwi. Um, 2021 seeds planted perfect all right so then take this label put it right on the side Actually, sometimes it's easier to put the tape on it like so and then stick it up. Don't know why I took up so much tape, but perfect. So now all I'll need to do is go grab a bit of saran wrap or see if I have an old plastic bag that I can't just put this in so it'll act like a greenhouse. Um, help keep that moisture in there and that way it just aids in germinating these sweet little seeds and then hopefully this summer I'll be able to taste some sweet kiwi uh, from our backyard. Pretty excited. Um, when we lived in Austin I had a whole tray of these and they did lovely. Like right when we left there we had probably about 20 plants and they were all just free leafed and vining out. It was really spectacular. But anywho, I hope you enjoyed this and I encourage you to take a look at your fruit and you know realize that they do have seeds and seeds do grow. All you gotta do is put them in the ground. So I will keep you posted with what happens with our little kiwi adventure here and until next video everyone keep planting. Oh and don't forget to leave a, leave a comment if you've ever tried growing kiwi or other fruit in the comments below. I, we always really do like to uh, to converse down there. Anyway, take care.